Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up dig and four wheel steer. We're using a hacked Flysky transmitter, uh, GT3C or a GT3B or whatever the other one is. Uh, this is going on my Basher Rockstar, so I'm going to set up dig and four wheel steer at the same time, but you can just set up one or the other and it'll be fine. So first things first, I, uh, I just went to a new model here because I already have it set up, but in the global menu, before you do anything, do a long press, and then scroll over until it says C, and this will have to read at least three if you're doing either dig or four wheel steer, and at least four if you're doing both, but I usually just set it to eight because it's just a uh, maximum number of channels. And I always use eight channel receivers anyway, so I just turn mine up to eight, but make sure it's at least reading three or four. So once that's done, you just do a short press, scroll over to endpoint, do a long press, and then, um, okay, so we'll start with four wheel steer. That's what the four means. So just click on that, and then once the off starts flashing, these are the, um, this is what channel the rear wheel steer is. Your, your front wheels will be channel one, that's just kind of default. And you can pick which channel you want your second servo for the rear steering to be. So in my case, I just have it on channel four. So press that. Uh, I honestly don't know what this means, so I just leave it. I don't know what this means either, so I just leave it. And that's it for step one. Um, to finish setting up four wheel steer, I just press back so it goes, nothing's flashing, goes back to the menu. And then you have to set up one of your switches to control the uh, steering mix. So I'm going to use the bottom one here, the channel 3 trim. So do a short press to get into the menu, scroll over to reverse, do a long press. And then the channel 3 trim buttons are this 3. So just scroll over until it's flashing, then click, and scroll over until it says till it's flashing four wheel steer, then press it in. BNL is what you want. Um, this is the step size. So for me, I'm going to set it to 100. So then you can have three different um, control areas, I guess. Negative 100 will be rear wheel steer only. Zero will be four wheel steer. And plus 100 will be uh, just front steering. If you wanted, say, for example, full front steering and only half rear steering, then you could set it to 50, I believe. And then a positive 50 would be full front steer, half rear steer. I'm not quite sure about that, but for just normal applications, I set it to 100 and press it in. Uh, I believe this is for reversing, but I just leave it, just keep clicking, and that's it. Your four-wheel steer should be set up. If you go back to the menu, and I'm just going to be pushing forward and backward on this channel three steering, or channel three trim, sorry. So if you push, see it says positive 100, push back, it says zero, push back, it says negative 100. So that this would be four wheel steer, this would be front wheel steer, and this would be rear wheel steer. 
And if it's backwards or anything, you can just do the normal reversing and endpoint adjustments and all of that. So if you want to also set up crab steering, now that this is all set up, you have to use one of the normal buttons for it. So you just do like we did before, single click over to reverse, hold it down. Uh, I'm going to use this end button just because I like doing that. So the end button shows up as an E. Just click on that. Scroll over until it says four wheel steer. Press down, press down, press down, press down. I believe this should be set to off. I, I think that's just a secondary function if you hold it down for a long time, so I wouldn't worry about it, but I'm just going to put it to off. Then once it goes back to this menu with the E is flashing, you can see it's set to four wheel steer. So just back out. Now when you press the end button, it'll say crab, press it again, no crab. So that's how you set that up. And if you're if you're in no crab and you are crab steering, then you have to reverse your uh, rear servo. So that would be, in this case, channel four. You just scroll over, press in and reverse. So that does it for four wheel steering. Dig is very similar. Press down, go to the end point, hold down. So the flashing four was for four wheel steer. Flashing D is for dig. So press that down and here you have to choose which channel your second um, ESC speed controller or whatever is controlling your second motor. So in my case, it's channel three. So just press that. Um, I believe this is for trimming. That's probably the same for four wheel steer, but if one of your speed controllers starts way ahead of the other time, I think you can trim it normally, or you can maybe also trim it in here, but for now it's just best to leave it to zero. And that's it. I believe, yeah, that's all you have to do. Just set it channel three, zero. And then once it goes back to the flashing D, you're done. And then we also have to assign a channel trim switch, or a trim switch to control the dig mixing. So since we already have this one for four wheel steer, we're gonna use the dual rates for the dig. So do a single press, go over to reverse, do a long press. The dual rate buttons are represented by this D here. Yes, sorry. So click on that, scroll over until it says dig. Press down, press down, and here's where you do how many steps you want. So in this case, I am going to do 50 like I was talking about before. So you can have full throttle on the front and still half throttle on the back. If you go to 100, it'll either be front wheels only, both wheels only, or rear wheels only. But if you go to 50, or 67 I guess, then it'll be full front wheels, but your back wheels will still be helping 50%. But once again, that's personal preference. And then just click through these and you should be done. So now when we push on the dual rate forward, it should say 50, which would be like I was talking about before, push forward again, and it would be just your front wheels, push back. This would be both equally this would be your rear wheels rotating more than your front wheels. And this would be your rear wheels only. And I'm gonna add another setting just so you can return to the zero position easily. That's, I'm gonna use this um, channel three button. So just click down, go to reverse, long hold. The channel three button shows up as a C. So just click on that. The symbols to, to return the dig mix back to center is DGR. So scroll over to that and press down. 
Um, press down again, just leave it on off, and that should be good. So if you press it down, if you pre we're pressing the channel 3 button. If you press it down, it just says dig max is set to 0. So it doesn't matter, oops, it doesn't matter if you're at 100 or 50, you just press that button and you're back to equal power for both front and rear. So that is how to set up dig and four wheel steer on your hacked, well it's got to be hacked, um, GT3C or GT3B.